What is a successful network marketing business like? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a successful network marketing business and make some money. My name is Bill, and today we're going to talk about what it's like having a successful network marketing business and some key elements. Now, before you start thinking MLM is some shady scam, hear me out first. Some of the top earners in America are actually running their own network marketing business. The only difference is they've been putting in the work for years so they can enjoy all the benefits that come with it. So, if you're interested in learning more about what it takes to have a successful online home-based business, then stick around because I'm going to break it down for you step by step so that you don't get lost along the way. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is huge for me and I appreciate your support. It's important that I include a disclaimer here because I believe in transparency. There are no guarantees that you'll make any money or be successful in network marketing or MLM. It takes commitment and dedication to be successful in any business. The information here is my opinion and is based on my experience and research. Use this information at your own risk. Let's get started. There are a few key components that all successful network marketing businesses have in common. The question I get a lot is why do so many people fail to make money and achieve financial freedom and independence? Here's the simple answer. Most people ignore one or more of the five very important principles I'm going to share with you here. Network marketing is like a well-oiled machine. If one part of the machine is not working well, the entire machine is affected. The thing that people like most about network marketing is the passive income it can generate. This is the income from work being performed one time and done well that continues to pay you for months, years, and in some cases, even life. One, company ethics and integrity. Take a minute and slow down and avoid the excitement and hype. It's normal to get excited about the possibilities of your new business or potential business. But this is where you need to take the time and read through the company policies and procedures as well as expectations of the company and distributor. You need to be aware of the legalities, and this is true in any business. Less is usually better when it comes to all the legal stuff. You need to see who it protects and how it does so. What loopholes are present? You need to seek the answers to your questions. Be aware of the things that might surprise you. Number two, flagship product. There may be one or more main products a company is known for. The secret to long-lasting residual income is the consumption of quality products. As people use and enjoy the products, they continually reorder them. It's important to have the main product stand out and be something that has some demand in the marketplace. There needs to be a product line that stands behind the main product. Three, demand for product. Are you able to identify the target market for the flagship product? How big is the market? What is the future demand and is the demand evergreen? A well-known company name does not mean guaranteed success. If too many people are familiar with the name and have formed an opinion that is not favorable, this can work against you. You need to remember positioning is everything when starting your business. Ideally, you want to be with a company that you can grow with. Four, duplicatable system. Everything you do in your business has to have the ability to be done by every other person in your sales team. This is what it means to be duplicatable. You need to have a strong upline for support. You need to be strong upline support. And there needs to be training that is in place to show people how to build their business. Mentoring is very important, if not the most important in my opinion. Three important action steps are, one, basic skill development, two, education of the business and industry as a whole, three, with all the skill and education, it's no good unless you take action. The entire process of your business has to be systematized. This is to ensure that there is a process that is proven and able to be followed. Systems are essential for strong teamwork. Without a good system and teamwork, your business will never get off the ground or be successful. Five, the comp plan. This is where you get paid. The comp plan needs to be fair. You need to ask yourself, is the potential to make enough money part-time to eventually move into network marketing full-time available? 
The comp plan should pay on volume, not level. This is important because this is where the earning power is for you. Look for terms like spillover. This is where your upline has the ability to place people under you in your organization and where you have the ability to place people under people in your organization. Other terms to look for are breakage and compression. See how these are defined in policies and procedures. Another key point to point out is that successful network marketing is less about selling than it is about relationships. Network marketing is a relationship business, a people business. People hate to sell, and that is why recruiting your friends and family never works. It's more fun and effective in growing your business to find people who are interested in what you have to offer. Remember, you don't want everyone in your business. You want the right people for your business. Having a mentor who is growing their business is vitally important to your success. I hope this video is helpful and encouraging. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you found the information useful. Down in the description is a link to a free training. Go there now and put your email in and get your training. Thank you for watching.